Hey fire signs, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you for being here with me. This is a reading for Aries Sag Leo. So if you're watching and you've got heavy fire sign in your chart, fire sign energy, this reading is going to be for you. Um, it can be for the cross watchers as well. Now, if you do enjoy this reading, don't forget to drop a like, that'd be much appreciated. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel and join my lovely little YouTube family. Um, if you wanted to sign up to membership for the channel, you will get access to extended readings as well and bonus vids. So um, that's all available on the homepage of my channel. Otherwise, oh, let's jump into this and see what comes up. I've got a couple of decks here. Let's see what comes up for you in the cards. Who is thinking about you? Who is obsessing? Who cannot stop thinking about you? Thinking about your connection? Let's see what comes up here in the cards for fire signs. Strong cancers come through so far. Okay. It's someone that feels like they've lost you. Someone you've lost in touch, uh, you've lost touch with, you've lost a connection, could even be an ex. Strong cancer energy actually that's coming through. So it makes me feel like it's someone, it's someone who's in love with you or they're still in love with you. The cancer is an energy where we miss someone, where we like long for them. So this is someone who's been thinking about you more and more. And to be honest, fire signs, I feel like this is someone you haven't had contact with in quite some time. Life has taken you different areas. You might have been together in a relationship where you were once married or engaged, possibly even lived together. I feel like there was a lot at stake between the both of you and a, loss, a lot that you guys lost together. Now, for others, if this isn't, I mean, we've got the high priestess here as well. So it can be someone who's a parent or someone quite spiritual or intuitive. For others, if this is not someone from your past, then I feel like this is someone who's quite emotional. All right. They are quite expressive. They could be quite creative. They're quite talented. But this is someone who's got a really big heart. Okay. They they are quite generous. They're quite caring. They're quite kind. They may have these. Um, sorry, I'll flip this over. Don't get excited. Um. It's not like they have this, like, oh, I just had a mental blank. I had a point. What was it? Um, yeah, okay. So they're, they're super caring. They're sweet. They're emotional. This is someone quite sensitive. So could be someone, you know, could be someone you've worked with before with the Four of Pentacles. I'm wondering if you, this is someone who's, you have work history with maybe? Mm. but I reckon if it's not you and you guys never had a relationship, I feel like they might've been married once upon a time, but I feel like they've lost a lot in their life um, because loss is coming up and they're emotionally like they've got their guard up or they're like tender because they've lost something like it could be, you know, it's made them fragile. Like they might've lost their parents at an early age or they might've had their significant other pass away. They've had quite a significant loss in their life. And it's made them quite so, like sensitive, but at the same time, it's made them put up their guard. So I get it's like this super emotional kind of energy around them. Okay, something about movement. We've got the car here. So I feel like it's someone that could work on the move, uh, moves around a lot. Maybe they do a lot of driving. They're in imports, exports. They're in shipping. It's like they, they come and go. It could even be someone that comes and goes in your life. But at the end of the day, I feel like when they're thinking about you, they really miss you. I'm getting a very strong nostalgic um, link to this person here. Um, okay, this is an empath. Okay, you've got an empath here that misses you. Um, and I feel like this is someone who's getting, who's not, who don't, who's not in your life as much as they used to be, or you're not in theirs, and it's it's making them feel all sorts of ways. Let's see what else comes up. Okay, it's someone who's maybe struggling with some things right now. They've got a lot on their plate. There could be some mental struggles. So I'm getting anxiety and depression here. High Priestess has come up twice, so it's someone who's thought about having children with you or has wanted that with you before. Could be someone who has kids as well. Okay. Uh, the chariot has come up twice as well. We've got Leo, so strong cancer, Leo energy. Um, 
this is a divine feminine or a divine masculine person that's missing you a uh, divine masculine or feminine energy i feel like this is someone who's got a lot on their plate right now i keep getting the words like busy i'm busy i'm busy i can't um so it's maybe someone that's put off meeting you or going on a date or reconnecting and that's because i've got a lot of personal issues personal dramas going on in their life um Okay, I'm getting collaboration over on this side. So I'm getting this as someone you might have teamed up with. So work-wise, creatively, you guys teamed up to do a project, um, to work on something together. And it's like, what was initially supposed to be for work or for some sort of like professional reason, it's suddenly turned much more emotional as they've gotten to know you. Um, they're having strong sexual fantasies about you with the Queen of Wands. So, you know, they could even be taken or married. Um or coming out of a relationship and then all of a sudden they just have this like crazy attraction to you. It's Leo energy. So they love your confidence and they're thinking about how alluring you are, um, how you get attention. Like they, they could even be jealous. Okay. I get a message that they may be jealous when they're thinking about you. Like they think about who you're with, who you're dating, um, who, you know, they may know who else likes you and they get jealous. So it's someone who's got quite a big, a big crush on you okay um we've got the sword so i feel like aces could be someone new or relatively new in your life they might be fighting through something they might be very strong-minded uh they could be very witty they could work for law litigation courts they could fight for justice it could be like a humanitarian um they fight for freedom and for justice um they're heavily opinionated the hangman is here. They may have a criminal history, okay? They may be a felon. Um, they may have been to jail before. They may have, you know, gotten in trouble with the law. They may work with law, criminals, you know, in parole. Um, like, I feel like this is punishment. I feel like they're... I get a sense that this person feels punished. Now, it could be that you are punishing them. You haven't spoken to them. You're keeping them waiting. You're giving them the silent treatment. You know, they've had to work hard for your attention, for your love. So wouldn't be surprised if that's coming up because it may indicate this is someone that you feel like you have to punish for whatever reason because maybe they've hurt you before they've done something here. Um, but I think overall, this person feels like they're destined to be with you. Notice the stars in the canopy. It's someone that wanted to be exclusive with you. Or still, when they think and fantasize about you, they would think about being that, you know, Insta couple or being online and sharing your connection and having the world know um, that the two of you are together. So it's also a possibility here. Um, I'm going to wrap it up there though, Fire Sign. So thank you again, everyone, for watching. It really does mean a lot. Um, don't forget to drop a like, share, subscribe, and sign up to membership. I know I'm asking you to do so many things. I'm so mean. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in again. Much love. And until next time, bye for now.